So what I want to talk about is to see if we can find a way for us to move forward with in-person rehearsals. How, how um, could we do that, Franklin, given our policies? I suggest that we go with um, the um, orchestra as strings only, fully masked, right? Yes, absolutely. And then we can have sectionals with a brass. Um, I have worked with No, Franklin, we, we cannot have sectionals with the brass. We cannot have any wind playing indoors as my letter indicated. And I've been telling you that we're violating our own mandates and policies. So um, I'm not sure why these exceptions are going and overlooked. Um, I don't so feel that this is right. And this is not for health and safety reasons. Okay, so you will not consider the exceptions, so-called exceptions. No, I'm following our policies. Okay. So, in a, in a nutshell, then, you're saying that brass and uh, winds should not rehearse at all. Are you willing to do the strings alone? Actually, Franklin, what I'm saying is that all wind players in the wind ensemble, jazz ensemble, tuba euphonium ensemble, all of those ensemble concerts, the concerto aria competition, which also includes wind players, wind concerto competition, which is only wind players, um, as well as all the in-person and private lessons that go on in the School of Music last year and continue to this year, all, all procedures that are violations of our Titan Pledge and the statewide mask mandate, which the school declared that they will be adhering to. And if that is the case, I will not let myself and all of our students in the School of Music be uh, uh, open to getting these types of punishments and these kinds of um, uh, uh, procedures that you guys have for violating these rules. Um, I'm not sure why these violations are going uh, unchecked and overlooked while it's being punished elsewhere in, in the entire university. I'm just making notes. I don't think that, Franklin, that I, um, I don't agree to discriminating with these exceptions in place. These exceptions are not logical. They're not for health and safety reasons. And if they are for health and safety reasons, you need to be consistent throughout the university. You cannot have large exceptions such as the ones that you are proposing and pushing me to do. It is not okay. Okay. Um, but yes, absolutely. I think orchestra, so um, what I plan on doing, as I recommended in my email to you, uh, as well as President uh, Georgia Nugent and the Provost Mark Brodel, as well as many other folks involved in making these types of decisions, I was clear in my email that my recommendation, as you suggested, Franklin, that I make is that all wind playing inside the School of Music follow the policies of the school and the statewide mask mandate. There shouldn't be any playing indoors. And we don't know that these unsymptomatic cases are the ones that are the cause of all this spread of COVID throughout the campus. I believe that all this playing, yes, we might have our students still healthy, but how do we know, how do we guarantee, Franklin, that all these students that go off into their dorms, maskless, and they also do other activities like go to, you know, off-campus events and outside events and also in-school events that are maskless. I, I feel that these students are affecting the entire community at large and these exceptions are totally arbitrary. Yeah, so I will push to um, uh, a plan on making, uh, well, this is all outlined in the email, um, to have all of my ensembles uh, be online. Uh, for the next two weeks, even for orchestra, um, I request that it be online. I have a lot of students who have been in, uh, affected by COVID contact or close contacts. Um, it, so I don't find that it's safe. I'm not sure why we were in violation of the pledge and the mandates all last year 
and why this is suddenly uh, becoming an issue and that now you need all of these uh, uh, agreements from people, etc. So it's just clear to me that we have been violating the pledge and the mandates without an exception and it was overlooked. So um, the orchestra uh, and everything that I am involved in, I request that I be online. I've been in contact with COVID positive students currently um, in the first wind ensemble rehearsal. There were about 25, 26 of us in that room maskless. Um, in 167 without any measures that um, were in place before. Um, so I believe that I should be, as you suggested, be online for at least the next two weeks. Um, okay. After that point, uh, I will have to come up with an entire new syllabus um, because I wasn't notified that these violations are uh, so serious that it results in punishment. I believed at first that these were by compliance mm -hmm. and that these were by choice. I did not uh, realize that these were gonna end in such punishments throughout the school. So uh, knowing that that discrimination is happening all over the school because of this kind of issues, um, this, this has to be resolved before I move on to do any in-person rehearsals with my students. Um, I, 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 don't, I, I, I don't agree that I need to risk their uh, uh, status in the school as well. So all of my classes, let me finish Franklin, all of my classes will be online. Symphony Orchestra, after the two week point, if the COVID situation is lessened, I will do um, Symphony Orchestra strings only. So an entire new syllabus has to be created because our plan was to have the full orchestra and we had all the music planned um, and prepared throughout the summer with my librarian, Megan Griffin. It will take some time to prepare a whole new program. Um, so I recommend that the prepared concerts or the planned concerts for the fall semester, uh, including all of these wind players, which is in violation of the Titan Pe uh, Pledge and the mask mandate that is statewide. Uh, so those need to be canceled or uh, options or alternatives be, be uh, made by the school so that we may, I don't know, play outdoors, which is uh, honestly not a plausible choice. Um, I'm in contact with my concer the concerto winners that would have played in the first concert, um, which includes all wind players in this repertoire. Um, so those need to be canceled and those students should be no, uh, uh, notified immediately um, since the reason for canceling it last year was also because we couldn't have wind players, supposedly, while all these exceptions were going on. Um, as you can see, these kinds of policies, they, it's difficult to implement them the right way and how we're doing it is not the right way. It is highly illegal what we're doing. And these exceptions that now you're trying to pass as, oh, we've been doing this, that is also highly illegal. And I want you to know that. Okay. Um, so that's uh, the plan that you have is to, to, to go online. You're aware that you can, you've been given the opportunity to go online this, for two weeks. This is the first week of the two. The university will issue a directive um, after this period um, in which they will recommend to everybody how to move forward and we will have to revisit that at that time. Ma I'm reporting back to Mark Brodo and I will report to him um, as follows. So just make sure that I'm correct. That yes. You will pivot to online teaching. Yes. You, are, you also uh, ask that all planned events must be cancelled. Yes, we need to follow the Titan Pledge and the mask mandate. You, Following you, these mandates require the cancellation. I'm not requesting it to be canceled, Franklin. I am recommending it because that follows our policies. And um, you also listed earlier all the other ensembles and brass ensembles. Are those also within the framework that you are referencing this? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So it applies to the whole school, does it not? Wait. Does um, does this policy not apply to the school of music and sports? Applies, we are giving every 
convener or owner of a course the opportunity to do what is best in his or her mind. Oh, no, 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 no. That is called discrimination. That is called no. your own standards, Franklin. This is a policy no, no, no. and a mandate by the state and the university as a whole. You cannot make exceptions based on what you think is correct. That is not okay, Franklin. You don't know that these other teachers and faculty members that are in contact with other musicians maskless are not going elsewhere. And these students are also going all over the campus and into other classes and in their dorms. How can you, how can you say you're abiding by these policies while you're, you're making all these exceptions on the fly? This is illegal, Franklin. I will report to my program. Okay. I think that's Thank a great you. idea. I but then the thing is, Franklin, I've already written all of these out, and right now I'm being silenced. I'm not being heard. I am telling you all of these things. My email to all of these folks in the university have gone unanswered. The inconsistencies I pointed out in your policies and mandates and how you are enforcing them have gone unheard. Okay. So this this real. seems that it's and not a, a solution you. because the the universe may I finish Franklin? Yes. I personally feel very pressure to follow your own pledge and mandates and also being pressure to follow with these classes in person as you're suggesting. I find that what you're doing is not right. I hope that I, uh, what I'm uh, voicing when I'm voicing my concerns as a faculty member in this university and all the email exchanges that I've been sending out be heard. I just simply ask that I may not be discriminated because of my views and my ideas on this and my insistence in following these policies that you outline that you're punishing other people for not following. Why are you giving yourself an exception for the School of Music and for sports just because? Of what reason? Is it for health and safety? What is this really about? If it's about health and safety, why do we have these exceptions that are so large? I will report to McGurdle and um, I will... Yes, I, and I request that we get an answer to this, okay? I am continually having meetings, sending out the same concerns and the same contradictions to your policies. I recognize maybe because you've already stepped over so many boundaries and stepped over so many lines that now you cannot go back. Now, I'm going to ask you not to characterize my participation in this conversation. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the school at large and the position yeah. that I'm put in. Thank you for that clarification. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I think that that's enough. Um, I have heard enough and I will report to Mark Brodo and I will stress to him that um, you require a response as soon as possible. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye.